The worst thing that you can do in your Counter-Strike career is to give up. Today, I'm going to give you some advice and some tips that I've learned along the way from going through the highest highs and the lowest lows in my own individual playing time. This is both through teams, individually through Face It, and even way back when I was playing matchmaking. There has been one thing that has gotten me through everything, and I'm going to share that with you guys today. So let's get right into it. So guys, the first thing that you need to understand is that the only way you fail inside of this game is if you give up, right? If you give up, that is the only way that you aren't going to make it where you want to be. And if you listen to the people in your matchmaking games, the people, you know, outside of your games, uh, as you start growing and getting bigger and bigger, uh, that tell you that you suck, that you're not going to make it, that you should give up, should do all these things. The only way that they win is if you actually give up and do that, right? And I know this sounds very simple, but how many of you guys watching this video right now went through a phase where you just decided I'm never going to play Counter-Strike again. I hate this game. I suck at it. And what happens? You come right back to it, right? We always come back to this game because we love it so much, right? I have 14,000 hours in this game. I cannot even begin to describe to you the amount of mistakes, the amount of bad things I've done, the amount of times where I, you know, hate who I am as a person or as a player. But at the end of the day, it's about getting better and growing and as an individual learning from all these in-game, out-of-game mistakes, everything that's going on and being better from that, right? No, no one out here is perfect. Nobody out here knows how to play the game exactly how you should be. Nobody knows how to live life to a T to perfection, right? We all are imperfect people and that's going to make us imperfect players. So I'm going to help you guys understand how to grow as an imperfect player. But first, let me give you a message from the sponsor of today's video. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are one of the greatest and easiest to use CS2 trading sites out there. You can swap out the skins you do not like for brand new ones that are so much more fresh. Even skins that are trade locked can be secured by adding them to your backpack. The greatest thing about the site is that you can buy skins for so much cheaper with a 35% deposit bonus when you use my code, Kojo. Make sure to check out the freebie section where you can get a free skin just by completing tasks. On top of the bonuses, you also get five dollar bonus when clicking the link in the description let's go ahead and talk about how to use this imperfectness to our advantage the thing that you have to realize is that you are also playing imperfect people one thing that's gotten me through a lot of difficult games and through like 10 plus game loss streaks through bad moments in my career is understanding that you are also playing imperfect people uh, for me you know i play at a high level inside of this game i might be in a server against uh oc or rush or you know some of these players that are tier one professional players tier one pros i play against the complexity guys all the time i scrim against them play against them in servers and events and qualifiers and you know you might peek around the corner and you're instantly dead you might play that game and get 13 owed right you don't get a single round and it always the feeling inside of me is like man why do i play this game these people are so much better than me they're destroying me there's nothing i can do but when i'm feeling this low and i'm feeling this empty somehow some reason i don't know why if you just keep playing the game and working and learning from these mistakes learning from these moments you always come out better than you were before you're not necessarily gonna beat them next time i'm not gonna get zero to 13 by complexity and then i play them again and we're gonna beat them right that's not what i'm saying that's not what you should expect but understand that development in your way to the top is a process and that process can be rushed that process can't be skipped and it's something that if you try to do that, you're going to see the consequences from doing it the wrong way. Because trust me, I've seen the consequences of doing things bad. I've seen the consequences of not doing things properly. And it sucks, right? Um, at the end of the day, if you're scared of losing, you're never going to make it in this game. And I'm saying that to myself, right? There's been games where I get into the server and I'm like, these guys are so much better than me. They're so good, you know? And that's not the mindset that you need to have, right? At the end of the day, imperfect players, right? And perfect people. You might think these guys are so good, but at the end of the day, they go to bed having same uh, worries and issues that you are as well. You know, there's guys that have played in majors. There's guys that have won majors that go to bed asking themselves if they're good enough, if they are the player that they used to be, all these different things. And then you're sitting there in the server with them, scared to play them because you think that they are just so much higher above you. They're not guys. I don't care if you're face at level five, you got to have value in yourself and understand that if you give your all, if you keep learning, if you keep growing, it doesn't matter if you're playing the face at level 10. It doesn't matter who you're playing because you have the ability to be better than them. You have the ability to grow. And if you are consistent, that's all that matters, right? Now, for those of you that actually want to have a career out of this game, 
and you have a lot of time to do it, right? Especially those of you that are younger players, younger people. Understand that this consistency and literally just playing the game and learning from it is everything. You don't have to sit there and play 200 hours every two weeks and never leave the PC and do these things. But understand that if you truly are dedicating your time to playing properly and getting better and learning, it's only a matter of time before you're going to get your opportunity. You're going to get your moment to shine because at the end of the day, Counter-Strike is a game where the beautiful thing of it is anyone can make it in the scene. It's not a closed circuit. It's not a closed system. If you prove your value, if you prove your worth as a player and person, you will make it to the top. When you shortcut these things, that's when you get punished. That's when you get consequences. That's when you uh, go through moments of, you know, falling down. Sometimes we're going to fall down as people. Sometimes we're going to fall down as players. But if you let that define you, if you let that be the moment to prove to everybody that's who you are, then you failed as a person and as a player. The only way that you fail is if you actually, you know, accept that and you say, yep, you're right. I'm a bad player. I'm a bad person. I'm a bad, you know, whatever. And then you just let that be. If you actually want to make it in the scene, when you go through these moments of embarrassment, failure, you know, maybe you get 0-13, maybe you lose uh, a match that could have meant that you qualify for an event. Maybe you lose a match where you had a lot of money on the line. Guys, you're weak. You're so weak if you give up. You are so strong if you bounce back from that match and get into the server again. If you learn, if you grow from that. Uh, and I have no sympathy for people who give up after these moments of failure, moments of bad fortune, bad stuff that happens. So at the end of the day, guys, I believe in every single one of you guys. I know that right now, not a lot of people believe in me, but at the end of the day, all that matters is what's inside of you and who you are, you know, on the inside. You know who you are when you go to sleep. We all know each other or we all know ourselves. We don't know each other. We all know ourselves. And at the end of the day, just continue to try to do better, be better and grow as players, grow as people. I don't care if it takes you 10,000 hours. I don't care if it takes you 50,000 hours over the course of a decade, over two decades. I don't care, guys. Learn and grow and you will be better than you were before. The only way you fail is if you give up. So never give up. And that's all I have to tell you today. Thank you so much for listening to this rant, this video. And I hope that somebody uh, can take some value from this and grow from it. So appreciate all of you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you want to support me. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I don't know when it'll be, but I really appreciate you guys. You guys mean everything to me. So thank you.